Have you ever felt like someone is always on your mind, that you're constantly drawn to them in a way you can't explain? Could it be that they are manifesting you? The concept might sound a tad mystical, but it's rooted in the power of our thoughts and intentions. Manifestation at its core is about focusing your mental and emotional energy to create a reality you desire. It's about aligning yourself with the universe, harnessing its vast energy and channeling it to bring about specific outcomes. Now, when we talk about someone manifesting you, it means that they are consciously or subconsciously focusing their thoughts and intentions on you, thus creating a pull that draws you into their life. This is not about mind control or any form of manipulation. It's a phenomenon that's deeply spiritual and rooted in the principles of energy and attraction. It's about how the universe conspires to bring people together based on the intensity of their thoughts and emotions. But how do you know if someone is manifesting you? What are the telltale signs to look out for? Well, that's what we will be exploring today. We'll delve into the five signs that could indicate that someone is manifesting you into their lives. These signs aren't set in stone, but they can provide some insight into the mysterious workings of manifestation and the role it plays in our relationships. Bear in mind that understanding these signs requires a sense of openness and a willingness to tap into your intuition. It's about observing the subtle cues around you, the synchronicities, the patterns, and the feelings that can't be easily explained. So are you ready to embark on this intriguing journey? Are you ready to uncover the signs that might reveal if someone is manifesting you? Stay tuned to discover the five signs that could indicate someone is manifesting you. And hey, if you find our content enlightening, do consider subscribing. It means the world to us. Sign number one, you keep bumping into them unexpectedly. What does this mean? Well, imagine this. You're going about your day minding your own business, perhaps doing some grocery shopping, or maybe you're at your regular coffee shop sipping on your favorite latte. Suddenly, out of nowhere, you bump into a particular person. It could be someone you know, like an old friend, or even someone you've just met. But it's not just once. You keep running into them over and over again, in the most unexpected places and at the most unexpected times. But let's not jump to conclusions. It's a small world after all, and these things can happen, right? However, when these encounters start to occur more frequently than usual, and especially when they seem to happen against all odds, it might be worth paying attention to. You see, this could be a sign that someone is manifesting you. Manifestation, as some of you might know, is the process of bringing something tangible into your life through belief, intention, and action. Some people believe that our thoughts and feelings can influence the reality around us, and this is one way it could potentially show up. Let me paint you another picture. Picture a bustling city, millions of people going about their day. The odds of running into one specific person in such a place are pretty slim, aren't they? But if you keep bumping into the same person again and again, it might not be just a random occurrence. It could be a sign of manifestation at play. To illustrate this point, let's consider a hypothetical scenario. Let's say you've recently met someone at a social event. You had a brief, pleasant interaction and then went your separate ways, but then you start running into them everywhere, at the supermarket, at the park, at a random restaurant across town. Every time you turn a corner, it seems like they're there. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean you should start planning your wedding, but it could be a sign that this person is manifesting you into their life. They could be thinking about you, focusing their energy on you, and this could be influencing the universe to align your paths frequently. Of course, it's also important to keep in mind that correlation does not always imply causation. These encounters could be coincidences, or they could be influenced by other factors like shared interests or routines. However, if you find yourself in such a situation, it might be worth considering the possibility that you're being manifested. So remember, if you keep crossing paths with the same person, it could be more than just coincidence. Scene script. Sign number two, you can't seem to shake them from your thoughts. Now let's dive into the deep end. We've all had those moments where someone just keeps popping into our minds, but what if it's more than a simple passing fancy or a fleeting thought? What if it's a sign of something bigger, something spiritual? 
You see, a key part of the manifestation process is the power of thought. Our thoughts are like magnets drawing in what we focus on. So if you find yourself constantly thinking about a particular person, it might just be that you're manifesting them into your life. Imagine this, you're going about your day, and suddenly, out of nowhere, you find yourself thinking about this person. It's not just once or twice. It's a recurring pattern, like a catchy song that's stuck on repeat. You're brushing your teeth, and you're thinking about them. You're stuck in traffic, and there they are, popping up in your mind again. It's like they've taken up a permanent residence in your thoughts, and you're the unwitting landlord. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't it normal to think about someone you like or care about? Well, yes, of course, but this is different. This is relentless. It's like your mind has a mind of its own, and it keeps steering you towards this one person. It's not just idle daydreaming, either. It's more profound than that. You find yourself thinking about their well-being, their happiness, their dreams, and their aspirations. You feel a deep sense of connection, and you can't quite put your finger on why. This isn't just a sign of infatuation or a mild crush. This is a sign that your energies are intertwining, that the universe is conspiring to bring you closer together. You're manifesting them, whether you realize it or not. But let's not get carried away. It's important to remember that this is just one sign. It's not definitive proof. It's a piece of the puzzle, a clue in the grand mystery of life. It's a signal, a hint, a nudge from the universe urging you to pay attention. It's also worth noting that this isn't a one-way street. Manifestation is a dance, a duet between two souls. So if you're constantly thinking about someone, there's a good chance they're thinking about you too. You're both manifesting each other, drawn together by the invisible threads of the universe. Remember, the universe doesn't make mistakes. If someone is constantly on your mind, it's not just coincidence or chance. It's the universe whispering in your ear, guiding you towards your destiny. So, pay attention to your thoughts. Listen to what they're trying to tell you. If you find that you can't get this person out of your mind, it might just be a sign that you're manifesting them into your life. If they're always on your mind, they might just be manifesting you. Sign number three, you start noticing synchronicities and symbols related to them. Let's delve into this fascinating realm. Synchronicities are those meaningful coincidences that seem to happen by chance, but they feel too significant to be just random. They can be seen as the universe's way of nudging you, of telling you that you're on the right path. For instance, you might find yourself constantly coming across their name or something associated with them, like their favorite book, movie, or song. It might be that you see their birth date on a clock or billboard. You're not searching for these things. They just appear in your everyday life, catching your attention. It's as if the universe is playing a cosmic game of connect the dots, leading you towards this person. Symbols, on the other hand, can be a bit more subjective. They often require a level of personal interpretation. You might start seeing a specific symbol that reminds you of this person. It could be something as simple as a bird that you associate with them, a flower they once gave you, or even a color that you link with their energy. These symbols seem to pop up everywhere you look, adding another layer to this complex tapestry of manifestation. Now, let's consider some anecdotes. Consider Jane, who found herself manifesting her old friend Tom. She started seeing his favorite animal, a fox, everywhere. On TV and books, even a live one crossed her path during a walk in the park. And then there's Michael, who kept stumbling upon the number 27, the day of the month his love interest was born. He'd see it on receipts, in page numbers, and even as the total of his grocery bill. These weren't mere coincidences. They were synchronicities and symbols, hinting at what was being manifested. It's important to note, however, that not every coincidence or symbol is a sign of manifestation. The key is in the feeling it evokes. If it brings about a sense of familiarity, of deja vu, or a deep, unexplainable understanding, then it's likely a sign. It's as if the universe is whispering in your ear, pointing you towards this person. In this journey of manifestation, it's essential to stay open and receptive. You never know when or where these signs might appear. They could be in the most mundane moments or in the most unexpected places. 
They could be as subtle as a whisper or as loud as a thunderclap. The universe has its own unique way of communicating with us, and it's our job to pay attention. So keep your eyes open for symbols and synchronicities. They might be telling you something. Scene script. Sign number four, they keep appearing in your dreams. There's a realm that we all visit yet seldom fully comprehend, the dreamscape. It's a place where the impossible becomes possible, where time and space lose their rigidity and where our subconscious mind communicates in the language of symbols and emotions. And sometimes in this mysterious realm, a specific person keeps showing up over and over again. That's our fourth sign, dreaming about the person. Now dreams are fascinating, aren't they? They can be incredibly vivid, full of intricate details and strange circumstances. But what if I told you that they could also be a sign of someone manifesting you? That's right, dreams can be a powerful indication that someone is thinking about you intensely or that you're tuned into their energy. You see, our minds are incredibly powerful. When we sleep, our conscious mind takes a back seat and our subconscious mind gets to play. It's during this time that our subconscious mind processes our thoughts, emotions, and experiences. And if someone has a strong presence in your life or in your thoughts, they're likely to show up in your dreams. But it's not just about the frequency of these dreams. It's also about the nature of them. Are they positive, filled with love and affection? Or are they negative, filled with conflict and tension? The emotions and situations you experience in these dreams can provide important clues about the nature of the connection you have with this person. For instance, if you're often dreaming of happy romantic scenarios with this person, it could mean that there's a mutual attraction. On the other hand, if your dreams are filled with conflict or tension, it could suggest that there's some unresolved issue between you two. It's also worth noting that dreams are highly personal and subjective. Two people can have similar dreams, yet interpret them in completely different ways. That's why it's important to pay attention to your intuition when interpreting your dreams. Your gut feeling can provide valuable insights into what your dreams are trying to tell you. And remember, dreams are just one piece of the puzzle. They're a sign, yes, but they should be considered in conjunction with the other signs we've discussed. If you're frequently dreaming about someone and also experiencing the other signs we've talked about, there's a good chance that they're manifesting you. So the next time you wake up from a dream featuring that certain someone, don't just dismiss it as random brain activity. Consider it a possible sign that this person is manifesting you. Pay attention to the details, the emotions, and your intuition. You might just find that your dreams are trying to tell you something important. If they're featuring in your dreams, it could mean they're manifesting you. And finally, sign number five, you have a strong gut feeling about them. A gut feeling, an intuition, a hunch. These words are often used interchangeably to describe that inexplicable sense we sometimes get. A feeling that seems to come from deep within us. A feeling that is strong, persistent, and impossible to ignore. This feeling doesn't need logic or reason to exist, it just is. And this, dear listeners, is our final sign having a strong gut feeling about the person. When it comes to understanding the concept of manifestation, it's important to remember that we are all connected on an energetic level. This energy, this life force that flows through us, doesn't always communicate through words or visuals. Sometimes it communicates through feelings. A gut feeling is one such form of communication. So what does it feel like? Well, imagine this. You're sitting there, minding your own business, and suddenly, out of nowhere, you get this strong sensation. It's not fear, it's not excitement, it's not anxiety. It's just this knowing, this absolute certainty that something is happening or about to happen. You can't explain it, you can't rationalize it, but you feel it deep in your core. Now relate this to the person in question. You may find yourself having a strong, unexplainable feeling about them. You might feel a pull, a connection, an inexplicable bond. It might feel like you're being drawn to them, like there's a magnetic force pulling you in their direction. It's more than just liking or being attracted to the person. It's a sensation that transcends the physical and taps into the spiritual realm. These feelings are often inexplicable, but they are not random. They are a response to an energy exchange that is happening on a subconscious level. It's as if your soul recognizes their soul. 
your energy resonates with their energy. It's a profound experience, one that can be both exhilarating and a little bit terrifying. And here's the thing. These gut feelings, these intuitions, they are often right. They are our body's way of picking up on subtle energies and vibrations that our conscious mind might not be aware of. They are our body's way of communicating with us, of giving us a heads up, a nudge, a sign. So if you find yourself having a strong gut feeling about someone, don't dismiss it as just a fleeting emotion or a figment of your imagination. Embrace it, welcome it, explore it. It might be your intuition telling you that something significant is happening, that an energetic shift is taking place, that someone is manifesting you. Trust your gut. It could be telling you that someone is manifesting you. Now that we've gone through the five signs, let's take a moment to summarize. The universe has a witty way of weaving our lives together, and these signs are its whispers to us. Firstly, we talked about frequent unexpected encounters. If you're constantly bumping into someone without planning it, it's not just a coincidence. It could be a sign that they're manifesting you into their life. The universe aligns such encounters to bring you closer to someone who's thinking about you intensely. Next, we discussed the sign when you can't get someone out of your mind. If thoughts of a particular person are filling your mind to the extent that they become a part of your everyday mental chatter, this could indicate that they're manifesting you. Your thoughts are a reflection of the energy they're sending your way. Thirdly, we touched on the occurrence of synchronicities and symbols. These are like breadcrumbs from the universe. If you're seeing recurring numbers, symbols, or patterns that you associate with someone, it's likely that they're radiating a strong energy towards you. The fourth sign we discussed was having dreams about the person. Dreams are the playground of our subconscious mind and often a place where we process the energies we receive throughout the day. If someone is showing up in your dreams frequently, it could mean they're manifesting you. Lastly, we delved into the sign of a strong gut feeling. If you have an intense feeling that someone is thinking about you, or you just can't shake the feeling that they're in your life for a reason, trust your intuition. It's your inner compass and often picks up on energies that your conscious mind may miss. So next time you feel a strong connection to someone, pay attention to these signs. You never know, they might just be manifesting you. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more enlightening content.